So let's talk about sprockets. So what are sprockets exactly? Good question. Uh, in Metro Publisher, we have something we call sprockets, which in other systems sometimes are called widgets or they're components. So for example, if we look at this sample site, I have this carousel slideshow on the top of the page. That is a sprocket. Or below it, I have a slider that goes the full width and it shows different articles. That too is a sprocket. So in Metro Publisher, the components or widgets you use to organize your landing pages or when you're reading an article, for example, if we look at this food article, this sample ad on the right is a sprocket. That's, what's, that's how it's been placed there and that's how you decide how that works. Um, this is a really critical part of building a website in Metro Publisher. You have your content and you primarily then have your sprockets and that's how you guide users through your site and you give the, that's the experience that they have when they go to your website or to your sections, they see those sprockets. In Metro Publisher, a lot like images and content, sprockets are centrally managed. So if you go under the sprockets tab, you'll see a list of sprockets that you're currently using and you can click on those to edit. One thing that's important to know is that sprockets can be reused in more than just one place. So if you create a sprocket and you have it in several sections on your site, when you edit it, it automatically updates in those places. But it's good to know because you don't want to inadvertently edit somewhere that you weren't intending. Just remember that you know they're, they're reused. If you click this add button here, you'll see there's a whole variety of sprockets that are available to you. And they have specialized functions. Some of them are more about layout. The gallery sprocket is a list of stories that is in a gallery layout. Or the carousel is sort of a slideshow experience. Others are more dynamic in the sense that they display some information like the event calendar will show the latest events from your event searches. And do I need to know coding if I want to add a sprocket? No, that's the, that's the way they've been designed is for an editor to be able to do it without having to know any coding. So let me give you an example of how that works. While they're all centrally managed, you're primarily adding them in the process of managing your section pages. So let's click on this section tab and we'll use the home page as an example. And then we've got two different layouts here. The live one is called standard layout. And when you come here, you'll see this is the edit page where you're actually editing your sprockets. At the top are the sprockets that appear on the section. So for example, the home page here, these are the sprockets that you're editing on this page. You additionally have the option to specify different sprockets for the content itself. So if we go back to that home page and we use an example of this food article, if you click on that, there's currently an ad on the right side. And that was managed here. We have this ad sprocket. So you're able to position the sprockets for just the content and then for the landing page itself. And so to do that, for example, I have this home page carousel. Click on this little edit button, you can see how I set it up. So the first thing is I gave it a title, in this case, homepage carousel, because I want to know oh, that's on the homepage. So you should give it a title that's intuitive for you or your editors to remember what it does and where it goes. And then in this case, I just made it, it's a fading transition. It'll pull up content from anywhere in the system by the issue date and it shows a maximum of three. I've set that up. There's no coding required. It's automatically pulling the three latest articles from throughout the system and it's, um, showing a large image, the title, and some descriptive text. Those are basically the controls you have for all of the sprockets. This is an enormously important part of how you manage your site. So it's really good to get familiar with how these work. You can move them around, you can change the, the widths of the columns. There are a lot of different ways you can mani manipulate them. We have a bunch of documents in the support site that explain it more clearly, but this is one of the key things that your editors will have to get familiar with in order to be managing the site on a day-to-day -day basis.